Even though my senior project is music production, I have never considered myself a musically talented person. In third grade, I started playing the cello and then quickly switched over to bass when I figured I couldn't play the cello. <laughs> I quickly found that I couldn't play that either, <laughs> but I got really good at faking it. You can ask Miss Stern. <laughs> I, took a, I took guitar lessons for seven years, but can barely remember a single chord. Its melodies and functions never tapping into my musical creativity. I wrote my first song on guitar and decided to never write one again. And don't get me started on my singing voice. Around this time last year, I decided to give music another try, in a new and more exciting way for me. I wanted to try making music using a computer. Using GarageBand, I created this song. This was my first attempt and it's okay to laugh. <laughs> which I've since learned is the process of blending all the tracks within a song together to make them sound balanced. At the time, I think I was proud of the piece, but I did not show it to anyone except for my mother, who gently broke the news to me that maybe it needed some work. <laughs> and so I kept working on it every second I could. Since then, music production has consumed my life, and I've spent most of my time over the past year teaching myself through experimentation and learning from the occasional YouTube video. As I got better, I began writing an album, working on two or three tracks at once, until I had a track list of around 13 songs. I began this last summer and worked on it until November. In December, I decided that it was trash. <laughs> I had gained so much knowledge over the past year that my older songs could not keep up with my ever-rising expectations of myself. Over a four-day weekend in December, I sat down to write a new song. I had just gotten a new mic and interface for Christmas, and was set on beginning a new project. One song turned into five, and by the end of that long weekend, I had written a new album. So this is the process I use to create each song. First, I begin with one isolated idea, a vocal, a lyric, a sample, a melody, a drum beat, sometimes even a feeling or a vibe that I want to express. Then I, get, uh, then I go into Logic, the program I use, and find a sound from their instrument bank, that I customize, uh, either changing the instrument settings, the frequencies, the plugins, like modulation, pitch, or reverb, because I wanted to have my sound. I don't want someone else's vision of the instrument on my track. I want to make it my own. Once I finish the instrumental, I perform vocals on it. Vocal processing has been a challenge for me, and it has taken me about a year to become comfortable with the sound of my own voice. Uh, the computer helped me a lot in this, for it allowed me to adjust my pitch and use auto-tune, artfully and tastefully. <laughs> I also began writing songs by putting my spoken word poetry to music, allowing me to use my voice in a way that wasn't singing, and that led me to rapping. I'll demonstrate this process to you on a track called Moonlight, written in December off of the album. Okay, this is Logic, um, the program. And this is actually how I look at home, so <laughs> I feel very comfortable right now. Um, so with this track, I had written three songs already for the project, and I wanted, I needed one that was kind of like more lighthearted, it felt a little bit like happier, because this follows like a very angry song. So also the album, the theme kind of was like winter and the moods of winter, so I wanted something that was like nostalgia for summer. Um, so I was going through just looking at sounds, I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted, um, but I found this instrument and I worked with it to get it to sound what I want. Um, wrote the melody, just like the first starting bass. Liked it, I was like, cool, okay, it's flowing. Um, so I wanted to add some percussion, I added this, uh, and I kind of just like add as I go. 
and then sculpt it out of that. So I wanted to add some percussion to it. So I added this xylophone. Flip over there. I added, I wanted to fill out the sound um, with some like ambient melody. Uh, so I added some sign bells. Um, then I uh, wanted to like have things going on within that. I wanted to add interest and texture to the track. So I added these little synth vocal, vocal synths in it. Um, another one on the other side. A little one. Next I was like, okay, I need something. It's a little bit like loose. <laughs> so I added um, like a noise pump just to give it some more texture to it and something that kind of stands out. It doesn't really stand out, but also these speakers don't have a lot of the stuff going on. There's another small quiet there. Now I was like, okay, let's come on, let's move on with this. Uh, I added uh, a synth mallet, kind of to carry the mallet. Um, very simple. Then I was like, okay, bass, let's fill this out a little bit. What you do? Pause. Oh, yeah. Volume up. Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, added the bass. I needed I had like the first two bass. So I needed something to like carry that. Added some kicks in that. Um, was like cool. Let's do the drums. Um, I used a, a like a synth snare that I used throughout the whole album to kind of carry that sound. It's very glitchy. I wanted it to bring some like hardness to the track. Um, I added a hi hat on the third snare hit, so just to sharpen them up. Um, and then I was like, okay, pretty much done, but I wanted to add something a little bit more unique to it. And what's the most unique instrument that you have? Your voice. <laughs> so I added in some vocal. Um, and then a melody of that, like halfway through. done the beat for at least the first verse and I was like okay I need vocals I need someone to go on this and I didn't think my voice is good enough to go on this I'm not really the kind of light singer um so I called my friend Ursula Scott who you guys may know um and had her do vocals she was in Spain at the time I sent it to her she recorded it on her crappy Bluetooth speaker um and then I mean not Bluetooth USB speaker and then sent it back to me and then I was making arrangement for the track, I brought in a second verse, brought in more then I was like, I want to go on the track, so the second half, the first half is her, the second half is me, um, took like a little bit of a change in the instrumental. <laughs> Keep pursuing it even when it wasn't working out, which was quite often. 
I'm so glad I took the opportunity to explore this outlet because it has become one of my favorite things to do. All my life I've thought of myself as someone with an eye for art. I can paint, draw, sketch, design. So it was a big surprise for me when I discovered that I have a ear for art as well. The music I want to make cannot be done using musical instruments. Cello hadn't been my tool. Guitar hadn't been my tool. Bass hadn't been my tool. Logic Pro is my tool. I am a drummer, I am a bassist, I am a keyboardist, but I can't play the drums, the bass, or the keyboard. The computer allows me to play any instrument I want regardless of if I have the technical skill. The computer allowed me to create music I wanted to make, and it also allowed me to exercise my newfound artistic ear with full creative control. In this, I've discovered a new musical identity that seemed so foreign to me that I needed to give it a name other than my own. And after a year of thinking about it, I finally came up with a name, and that's Boy Coyote. Uh, while logic allows for collaboration between my ear and the computer, it also allows me to work with my eyes. As you guys saw, it is very visual and displays both sound and melody, as well as arrangement visually. Hence, the music I've created is also a collaboration between my senses of sight and sound. Lastly, I'm going to play a song from the album with a music video component. The song is called Trap Gods, and it's an attempt to connect to my musical identity and embrace myself as a musician. As that person, I explore performers who think they are gods, my understanding that I am not a god, and my sexual liberation. <laughs> Also starring my class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 